I'm sure I read the ban list of the MLB. I could find a way for a professional athlete to skate something in there to give them a competitive advantage. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Quick ASMR sip of 1907. I'm running low and have to re-up. I have no car to accumulate more 1907, so I'll need to have a helicopter drop some off. New Zealand's best water, 1907 coupon code Russo. And let's not forget about the ASMR spritz. Intelligent Elephant Carbon, intelligentelephant.com, coupon code Russo. Those spritz noises, I know they're addicting. I know you want to smell this cologne, but you got to buy with coupon code Russo so you can pull broads at your local dive bar. So Fernando Tatis Jr., you know, MLB superstar in the making, 23 years old. He is set out to achieve a $350 million contract. So big money in the MLB from the Dominican Republic. And overall, he failed a drug test for Clostabol, which is a performance enhancing anabolic steroid. Not very powerful one, not very popular one, but overall I think he was fined around two million dollars and is sitting out half a season after already suffering from a broken wrist trying to get back in the game. So what are my thoughts? Well, Clostabol, I didn't really know about. I'm gonna be straight up honest. Um, upon further research from me, I derived that it is comparable to halotestin. And for those who don't know, halotestin is one of the most androgenic steroid agents in existence, one of the most powerful steroid agents. And it's heavily popularized and used right before powerlifting meets because it causes tremendous amounts of roid rage. It causes zero water retention and weight gain and tremendous strength and central nervous system activation activity. What I found about this Clostabol androgen is it's way less androgenic, so way less hypermasculization effects, but it's still a hardening drug agent. Tatis Jr. released a public statement stating that he was taking it due to a skin condition. I think he said he was trying to get rid of ringworm or something to where I thought that was, you know, peculiar, strange, you know, everyone's got an excuse when they get caught. Again, when I was looking Looking into this exotic androgen that I haven't heard of nor have I taken, um, it is used for that specific reason. And when I looked in the location he was at in the Dominican Republic, if he were to go to the hospital, you know, he's trying to get back. He's just trying to get, you know, his wrist repair, get back to hitting home runs. And, you know, he comes down with some skin condition and he runs into the, you know, the med place there, the medical place. And, you know, he's given this medication. He doesn't think he starts taking it. Best chances are, it probably had this clostabol in it which then popped hot my my questions for all of this is first off you know <laughs> i personally would like the mlb to bring diana ball back into the game right i'll have andrew throw up babe ruth hitting home runs right the glory days to where everyone showed up the baseball to watch the home run wars was when anabolic steroids were present in the mlb now i get that you know they want to clean the sport out for kids and everyone's about keeping sports super clean i honestly if i'm sure i read the ban list of the mlb i could find a way for a professional athlete to skate something in there to give them a competitive advantage to move their statistics because baseball is heavily dependent on statistics and you are paid heavily on statistics when you come to the table to get your big ass $350 million contract. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure for Fernando. I personally kind of believe that he just probably just ran in a med clinic for some skin issue, was handed that. It's his fault for not talking to his agent over the phone in the United States. Hey, can I take this? Thinking that, you know, I'm just taking a medication for my skin thing. It probably is nothing thing as far as you know a performance enhancing drug goes this is one of those specific scenarios where he bit the bullet didn't do his due diligence and contact his agent and now he's facing for me i don't think the two million dollars or 2.4 million dollars he's sitting out on and is fined is a big deal i do think the time away from the plate is a big deal 
meaning for him to roll his momentum back into his athletic career, it is now even more staged and difficult considering he's already coming off an injury. And for him, if he was trying to heal his injury, I'd probably just run with growth hormone. How the fuck are they gonna test growth hormone in the Dominican Republic when they can't test blood serum concentrations because you could peak it up and then if anyone tested, you could flare it back down real quick and there's no real baseline to track. You know, there's something right there. If he's taking this Clostabol, you know, I feel like he would probably pick a better androgen, like, I don't know, my TRT clinic elevate, right? Normal ass testosterone. If you want to generate more power, there's, you know, Diana ball, which is the most common steroid in the MLB, in my opinion. You know, you probably go with one of those. Him picking Clostabol out of all the selection of anabolic steroids makes me feel like he was honestly duped by this med clinic, not doing his due diligence. Just wanted to heal up this, you know, skin condition, wearing worm. I was a wrestler and I would have to, you know, get treated for ringworm constantly a lot of disgusting things on the mat and i feel them on like when i was wrestling and when i was in playoff season and when i was approaching my end year tournaments and a skin condition popped up you know i just wanted that dealt with quickly i wanted to be on the mat i wanted to be in fucking game mode i wanted to be in war mode any time off the mat hurts me psychologically to continue rolling my ball and that's personally how i kind of felt happened to him that being said i was a high school wrestler right not one of the top of the mlb that has to hold the stipulation of being a clean international multi-million dollar athlete i really wish that he would have run it by his agent and you know discuss with the mlb hey i'm taking this medication does this fly oh shit you know there's claws to ball in here fuck i'll go get something else to treat this skin condition that wasn't the case that bit him in the ass and overall it's not the it's not the couple million dollars he set back it's simply the time away from the plate that will make it harder to step back on the field and get back to his normal statistics i will see you guys in my next video